What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap video after a pretty pretty bad day. Uh, it was not good for Phil. Phil had a terrible hog snorts uh, playthrough with little support, little positivity like always and uh, like a dragon wasn't wasn't that much better. And of course here he's going to try to um, make things sound better than they are, which of course we know they're not. And also, he refused to address the issue of um, the interview, which we all know he, he got busted. He got called out. Stutter and Craig couldn't keep his mouth shut. So he told everyone about the interview. And we all know because Stutter and Craig mentioned that he got an email from our boy Phil. And he's going to read that today. So I'm pretty sure the email is just going to basically talk about how... Um, he Phil is not going to do the interview because he broke his trust and he's not trustworthy and you know he he he's unprofessional you name it you name it that's 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 the deal and then today on his podcast we'll probably address it after uh Saturn Craig talks about it and more than likely we'll probably call him a scumbag and you know how Phil does Phil likes to trash people uh as soon as he has no use for them you know he he loves to trash them so that's what I expect so Watch out for your boy, Duty. Duty will have some videos on that today. I think their podcast is at 12. So as soon as they uh, go on live, hopefully they'll talk about it uh, at the very beginning. I will clip it and bring it to you guys and probably provide some, definitely some good, good commentary. So it should be fire today. And then Phil's podcast is at two o'clock and, uh, you know, he'll probably talk about it as well, especially if they talk about the email and uh, if it's a spicy email, you know. Bill's not going to hold his tongue. So let's watch what he has to say. Since 2014. Uh, so uh, on the back wall of my condo in Connecticut. Good evening, everyone. Phil here. And welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Thursday, the 2nd of March, 2023. That is right. Indeed, folks, a new month, which of course means new decorations. Just to show you, if you were not around today, and maybe this is the first time you're seeing it, I figure I'd take that banner off for a minute here so you guys can see pretty cool new artwork of... Uh, punch out that I've had for many many years used to be uh, on the back wall of my condo in Connecticut for all that time that I used to film back then uh, a long time ago you guys have literally not seen this this painting since 2014 uh, so it was really cool to bring it back to the mix uh, of course the return of the classic Super Mario Brothers we got still some of the same decorations from earlier so uh, yes refresh for the month and this will be the backdrop for the month of March and some other refreshed things today as well, starting up with a new one. No member's goal for March. None. And there's multiple reasons for that. You know, we go over it on the Level 1 podcast in detail today. But in, in summary, you know, there's no reason to really constantly do one, especially when we're already going to be really busy. For example, coming up in March, we've got a large-scale React event that's going to happen at the end of the month for DSP Reacts. we got an episode of Ask the King that's going to happen. Also, the first week of April, I'm doing something special on my birthday. That's a marathon. So because of all those factors, it's like, do we really need to be now, you know, bring on another member's goal, try to do another special marathon event, do this, do that. It doesn't seem to make sense. In addition, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of, like, pushing for a member's goal constantly. It feels like I'm pushing something down your throat. And quite frankly, if you don't want to become a member, I can't make you. All I can do is tell you about the, the, uh, the benefits. And... I think people will appreciate the fact that this month there's really no pressure for it, okay? I, I hope so. I hope that those are who are members who enjoy supporting this channel will just continue to do so and enjoy the membership perks they've always gotten. Okay, so he's moving away from doing any rewards, which is an, a negative for the, for, the, for the viewers. I mean, the rewards are crap anyway. It's just the reward essentially is if you pay, if you give me X amount of members, I will... Uh, Give you the opportunity to give me more money on a special event. That, that's all it is. So it's garbage anyway. Um, so he's trying to be slick. He's essentially moving away from the monthly goal to a daily goal, which is smaller and more attainable. And he talks about how he's not going to do it every day. It'll be every so often. I'm going to be. I, it's going to be every day. Or if he streams, what, six times a week, uh, it'll be at least four times a week. And if you figure if he begs for five members four times a week, that's 20 members a week. Four out of four, that's about 80 members a month he's going to be looking at. 
So I know that's not going to be enough. He has this golden number of 100 members a month for growth. And, you know, he's going to get there. Whether it's monthly, a monthly goal or a daily goal, he's going to spread it out and talk about or he's going to spread it out and make sure that he uh, has enough days in the month where he can get hit that 100 member goal. So if it's five members, he may increase it to 10 members a day, especially if this works out for him. He may get greedy and bump it up to 10 members a day. But let's just say he does five. If he does five a day, all he really needs to do is <clears throat> essentially 20 days out of the month. So he streams about 24 to 25 days out of the month, right? Uh, or 26. He streams 26 days because he has four days off, right, in the month most times. So all he needs to do is beg 20 times. And then he'll have the out and say, well, I'm not begging every day. And technically that will be right. But he's going to be begging 20 out of the 24, 26 days he streams a month asking for five members a month to hit that 100 member goal. And I'm sorry, Phil, you know, uh, people don't wail out because they just don't have the money. And on top of everything now, Phil, they, you're, you're asking them to support two channels. And I know you like to say, no, 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 I'm not asking them to support two channels. DSP React is different and DSP Gaming is different. But the only people watching both those, any people, those people that are watching the content, they're watching both of your, they're watching DSP Gaming and the reaction. They're the same dense from DSP Gaming that are coming over to support. And that's why your memberships are small over there. You're probably at 50 something now. You you may have dropped 50 something members. So, uh, yeah, Phil, you know, you're not hiding anything. You're not trying to be slick. Everyone knows what the deal is and your dents will catch on soon enough. Um, and what I was suggesting was instead of a monthly goal, maybe every day have a mini goal. So, for example, today I started on the level one podcast in the morning and I said, if uh, you know, we have 369 members. So if we were going to do this mini goal, I guess what my mini goal for today would be, hey, can we get 375 members by the end of the entire streaming day, both streams? We actually hit that before the podcast ended. So, you know, I'm not saying that that's going to happen every day, but maybe this is a better idea. Maybe instead of having this giant focused attempt to try to do something grandiose that we're going to have to balance, member bombs will expire and this will affect it and this will affect it. Instead, forget all that. It's too complicated. It's too dramatic. It's nonsense. Instead, let people support if they want. Let you know what the, the, the benefits are. Um, maybe do little mini things here or there. You know, maybe if I do a marathon stream, have a goal for that particular stream. But don't go crazy over it. I think this is a better philosophy, a more laid-back philosophy, and I think hopefully it'll work. We'll find out. So why can't you apply that to everything else, Phil? I've told you over and over, the biggest thing that people have against you is you that you beg. And you beg a lot. I mean, for membership, subscriptions, uh, for, for likes, for, uh, for thumbs up, uh, for uh, uh, engagement. You just beg for everything, Phil. And, you know, they can only do so much. And the funny thing is that the very, at the very beginning of this clip that I just played for about a minute, Phil said, he, he, he switched it up. He said, first, you know, what if I have a mini go every day? And, you know, like, and then he talked about the five members from yesterday or whatever they said. And then shortly right after that, he changed it up and said, well, not every day. I'm going to tell you right now that if he, he, he still wants that hundred member goal. And for him to get it, he's going to have to ask for five members at least 20 times a week, 20 times a month. So he streams 25 to 26 days. Watch. I I'm guessing one day out of the week, he won't beg. Like he'll break it up, you know, and then he has a day off too. So it won't seem like he's doing it every day, but essentially he will. And then if this doesn't work out uh, and he doesn't hit that hundred member goal, he's going to go back to the whole, uh, he's going to go back to the whole thing of, oh, uh, I'm going to set up goals because my, my, my dents told me that they like the goals. So I'm listening to my dents and I'm, I'm going back to monthly goals. He does that all the time. He switches it up over and over again, thinking that, you know, it, you know, he's just looking for that gotcha formula that'll get him the money that he wants, get him the members that he wants. And if it doesn't work out, he'll switch it up. If that doesn't work out, he'll switch it up again. But the problem is he keeps switching back and forth to the same things. He doesn't change. He doesn't look, he doesn't like he, he, he looks outside of the box or he thinks outside of the box 
but he presses up so close here to the box that it makes no difference. Okay, but basically during today's Level 1 podcast, I talked about a lot of stuff, uh, various topics, you know, news, Phil's Day Off, uh, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Give it a look. Talk about a lot of the new stuff coming up this month as well, including new releases and everything. First stream today was the continuation of Hogwarts Legacy. I will be honest with everyone. The attention for this game has, you know, dramatically waned. The game has now been out for about three weeks. Originally, it was all the hype about me playing it and seeing other people play it because of all the dramatic, you know, boycotting efforts and everything all over the internet. The game is good, but it's a very lengthy, drawn-out, open-world RPG with a lot of random content. Open world RPGs typically start off strong and then immediately within one to two weeks lose their, their fire. Uh, in this case, yes, this game, the interest in it has died out dramatically. You know, we were talking a game that every time I played it had 400 plus viewers and now we can barely retain 200. I can't make the game be more interesting for those who don't want to see it at length. You know, every long, long scale RPG, this kind of happens. Uh, I'm still liking it. I'm still enjoying the game. <clears throat> Today, we actually finished up a major plot arc we headed into the third major season. You actually start off in summer, then you go to fall. Now we're in winter. So I'm sure all the decorations, all the appearance of everything's gonna change again. New side content opening. So essentially, this is like the final major season. Then you get into the finale of the game after this one, supposedly. So maybe I was told if, if I kind of rush through it and don't do side content, 10 hours to beat it. But if I actually do continue to explore and do side content like I've done all along, maybe 15. So, you know, you balance that with everything else, maybe another two weeks. So we see the end of Hogwarts, which is fine for me. I mean, we're 33 hours in. Uh, if this ends up being like a 50-hour playthrough, I wouldn't be shocked. At the same time, yeah, attendance has dwindled dramatically. So it is what it is. I'm glad that I'm not just playing Hogwarts, that there's something new tomorrow, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um... So you got one good day of support for Hog, Hog Snorch, which the initial one, which you got 100 bucks. That very day you milked it and you played it a second time and you got 50 bucks. And then everything after that has been like 50 bucks. The game is interesting. I mean, I believe it's still the number one game on Twitch for people streaming it. Tons of people are streaming it and making tons of money on it. They're getting tons of content on it. But you, for some reason, never do. You do this with all your playthroughs. Every single one of them. And then you blame the game. You blame the game. You can't blame the game. You just make it boring and uninteresting. And that's why people tune out. So they initially may be interested in hype. But as soon as you go on and start playing it and you make it just beyond dead and boring, people move on. They go watch someone else play it. Why would they sit there and watch you play it, Phil? I just you fail to understand that. And like I've mentioned, I don't know how many times I've said it, Phil, if you would just try to make it interesting, talk about uh, like, like do a little research. I mean, I know you don't like to be spoiled or whatever, but what hurt you to research it for maybe an hour and just get some really helpful tips, some information on the game, some background stuff, like talk about how during the development of the game, blah, 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 something happened or because there there is always something interesting you can find a news bit a news story about the game that makes it interesting that maybe a lot of people don't know and you add that you add that um content into your playthrough and people were like oh wow i didn't know that that was very interesting and although your gameplay may be boring just the simple fact that you're engaging talking about the game and providing insight makes it a valuable playthrough anyway so hogwarts went okay you know i had a good time the viewers that were there had a good time that's what's important okay late stream tonight like a dragon ishin and i have a very positive update on this the last time we played like a dragon ishin i did it as a daytime stream it did not work it ended up basically getting very low attendance um people were not too excited to see this game as, as a, a daytime stream uh they were like ah you know something else more action based or whatever so, attendance was low, everything was slow. Tonight, we did it as a late night stream. We actually had more people watching on the late night stream tonight than we had the last time when I played it as a daytime stream. 
This doesn't surprise me. People kind of now have that mentality. The chill stuff is at night. The more major playthroughs with major plot progress and the like are in the daytime. So I was happy that people came by and chilled with me today in Like a Dragonetian. Good progress. We did a lot of side questing, but also major plot. We finished all of Chapter 4, giant gauntlet of combat, heading into Chapter 5. I'm sorry, Phil. No. You... <laughs> Excuse me. You claiming that... Um... The content, I mean, it was better on the night stream than it was on the day stream. That that's that's like that's like bragging that you're the tall the midget in the circus. It, it doesn't matter, Phil. It was still garbage. You barely kept 200 viewers consistently. You got 50 bucks in tips. Um, I I don't think you would claim that as a success. I mean, I understand it was better than the last time, but again, you know what what are you comparing? You're comparing, you know, uh, you're comparing hard doo doo to soft doo doo. I mean, it's still doo doo. Uh, so yeah, that that playthrough is bad. He really needs to end that one. And again, uh, the game isn't that great. Yeah, it isn't. I, I agree. But he just doesn't make it interesting whatsoever. He just does it, you know. And the only way he can, you know, the only way. See, the problem with Phil is that he comes from an old school. When he started, he can just make inappropriate jokes, hateful slurs. Like this is an Asian play. You know, it's like an Asian thing. In the past, he would have been going off and saying some very inappropriate things about the Asians. But he can't do that anymore because YouTube will give him the boot. So, if it's not that or butt or fart jokes, he has nothing else to add. And that's the reason why his playthroughs are so dead. Super dead. Super, I mean, to the point where when I'm streaming it, uh, your boy dude is ready to pass out from boredom and going to sleep. I, I just... You know, I, I don't know how much longer I can do it. I'm hoping that he can move on to something more interesting and fun and play. You know, I can't wait for Street Fighter 6 to come out to just watch him just get super, super clapped. Anyway, you know what? The rest of the video is just him talking about his boring day. Uh, there was nothing, nothing interesting whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut it short because this video is running long. Uh, definitely stay tuned for today um yeah I'll, there, there should be some popping quality content coming out especially with phil and his uh interview venture uh so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out